In this video, we're talking about the Universal Audio AUX Amp Top Box, what it is, how it works, and how it may benefit your tube amp setup for playing and recording. Hey everyone, Eric here. Welcome to my channel where I make gear demos and instructional videos aimed to help musicians like you. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments below, how do you record your guitar or bass in your studio or in your home, or if you're like me in your spare bedroom that's been converted into an office. The aux is many different things all in one box. It's a reactive load, it's an attenuator, it's a speaker simulator, and it's an all-in-one studio solution to recording and playing your tube amps at home or in any space, quietly or even loudly. The aux sits in between our amp and speaker. So we take the speaker out of our amp into the aux, and then from the aux we can take a speaker out into a cabinet or the combo speaker that we're using, whatever you wanna use. Tube amps need to be plugged into a load, which is usually a speaker or a speaker cab, in order to not get damaged. If you don't have the tube amp plugged into a, a proper load, it's gonna put stress on the output transformer and the amp overall, and eventually, if not immediately, it's going to be damaged. Now the aux is a reactive load, and that means you can plug your amp into the aux, and the aux acts as that load. So the amp sees the aux, and it says, okay, I'm connected to a proper load, and I can continue to work. You're not going to damage your amp playing it silently, or not connecting to an external speaker cabinet, as long as you're plugged in to the aux. And as I mentioned before, the aux can act as an attenuator. So you plug your amp into the aux and then you can run a speaker cable from the aux into your cabinet. And now we can take a really loud amp, um, we can push it to where it's really breaking up. You, you get that nice push sound, but then you can back off the volume on the aux. So you still get that really nice push sound of the loud amp, but only at a lower volume. Which brings us to like my favorite part about the aux is the fact that you don't have to connect a speaker to it. You can run your tube amp silently. Now I'm in an apartment, so this is really, really helpful. And this is how I've been recording a lot of my demos and videos over the past year. The aux comes with an app, and in this app we can choose different types of cabinet simulation and speaker simulation that is applied to our signal. But before we dive into the app, let's look at the front panel and back panel of the aux to see exactly what we're working with. On the front of the aux, we have a rig knob which allows us to choose from six different presets of speakers and effects. The room knob lets us dial in how much room ambience we want in each preset. <laughs> Speaker volume is our attenuation control, and it gives us four different levels of attenuation plus a silent operation of our amp. The line out knob controls the line out volume, and the headphone volume controls the volume of the headphone out located directly beneath it. Taking a look at the back panel of the aux, we can see we have power, USB ports for updating the aux's firmware, a digital spitif out for running into an audio interface, a foot switch which lets us control effects within the aux app, a speaker out and an impedance selector, and a speaker in, which is where we plug in our amplifier. We also have a set of stereo quarter inch line outs for sending our signal into an audio interface or PA. 
If we jump into the app, we can see that there's a few different parameters we can change and choices we can make. There's a list of 22 different cabinets to choose from, ranging from 1x12s and 1x10s all the way up to 4x12s. In the app, we have six different mics to choose from, and we have dynamic, condenser, and ribbon options. But we also have a direct out recording which doesn't apply any speaker simulation to your signal. Then you can host an IR in your favorite plugin or maybe even a pedal that is put in between the interface and the aux. Inside the app, each cabinet gives you the option to mic up with two different mics. And for each mic, we can apply an EQ we can position it on axis or off axis. We can use the fader to mix between the two. And then we can also pan left and right since we have stereo outs from the aux. The Aux app features four different studio grade effects that you can apply to your sound within the app. So we have an EQ that we can fine tune the overall sound. We have the Universal Audio 1176 compressor. We have a stereo delay and we have a plate reverb. And all of these effects can actually be turned on and off with a foot switch via the foot switch out on the back of the Aux. So if you want to hear the aux directly compared to the sound of an SM57 on a 4x12, I'm going to leave a link in the description and up here at the top to my friend Jason's video over at the Fuzzlord FX YouTube channel. And let me know in the comments below if the aux is something that you would like to add into your workflow for your tube amps um, to, to play or to, to record. I'd love to know, so leave me that comment. If you want to check out any of the gear I used to make this video, including the aux, be sure to check the description below for links. And if you like this video, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.